Hello, and welcome to the Atlantic Blowers video series. Today, we will discuss the bearing removal procedure for our single stage regenerative blower line. In this example, we will be using our AB400 single stage regenerative blower. Listed here are the tools needed to complete the bearing removal for both the front and rear bearings. Removing the front bearing will be done in two steps, the housing plate removal and the bearing removal. Step 1. Housing Plate Removal With your quarter inch ratchet and 8 mm socket, begin by removing the seven outer fasteners from the outer circumference of the housing plate. Use the 7mm socket and begin removing the three inner fasteners around the center of the housing plate. Below the base plate are four Allen head fasteners. Use a 5mm Allen wrench and carefully remove each fastener before removing the base plate completely. Once the base plate is removed, use a large flathead screwdriver and rubber mallet to offset the mounting flanges. Tap the back of the mounting flange until the housing plate spins freely. Gently lift the housing plate until it is completely removed from the blower. Step 2. Bearing Removal Lock the impeller in place with a large flathead screwdriver. With a 3 8 inch ratchet and 10 millimeter socket, begin loosening the bearing fastener at the center of the motor shaft. Be sure that both the washer and bearing fastener are removed before removing the bearing. To set the bearing puller, place the three rocker arms along the circumference of the inner fastening washer. Use a 17 millimeter socket and rotate the drive pin. The bearing should slide off of the shaft when tension is applied. Like the front bearing, removal of the rear bearing will be done in two steps, motor plate removal and bearing removal. Step 1, Motor Plate Removal With a Phillips head screwdriver, begin by removing the three fasteners along the circumference of the motor fan cover. At the center of the cooling fan, unscrew the fastener with a Phillips head screwdriver and an 8 mm wrench. Twist by hand until completely removed. Remove the outer fasteners around the motor plate with a large flat head screwdriver. With a rubber mallet, gently tap the top of the motor plate fastener flange until they are slightly offset. Tap the back of the flange to add space between the motor plate and the motor housing. Gently pull with two screwdrivers until the plate is removed. Once the bearing is exposed, secure the rocker arms of the bearing puller along the outer diameter of the rear bearing. Mount the drive pin at the center of the motor shaft and rotate with a 3 8 inch ratchet and 17 mm socket until the bearing is fully removed. Thank you for watching the Atlantic Blowers video series. Please subscribe to our channel for more blower maintenance tips. Feel free to leave a comment or contact us directly with the information listed below.